pushes stuff, doesn't he? All right, we are minutes away from seeing the total solar eclipse in the Charlotte area. You are looking live at our special solar lens outside our studios in West Charlotte. Six minutes to be exact. This is going to happen at 241. We're keeping a close eye out for totality. Of course, we'll bring it to you live right when it happens. Yeah, the excitement and anticipation building across the Carolinas. NBC's Erica Edwards live in Clemson, where thousands of people have their eyes to the sky right now. Erica, this is so exciting. It is very exciting. I'm going to echo what Bill and Larry said just a few minutes ago that the lighting is just eerie. It just it's not yeah, dark. Absolutely. It's not twilight. It's just sort of weird. Nothing like I've ever seen before for sure. We are just seconds away from totality. I'm going to put my glasses on to see exactly where we are. Oh, there's just a little tiny sliver left. You can probably hear the crowd. I'm going to actually be quiet here for a minute so you can see in here. People are cheering. Everyone is pointing up to the sky. They have their cameras out. They have their glasses on. Yeah, Erica, they Larry Sprinkle was saying earlier how his location was eerily silent as well. Like people were just looking up in awe of what was before them. Is that what you're experiencing there with your crowd? That's exactly what's happening. There are gasps everywhere. People are chatting. People are so excited. They are cheering. They are yelling. I'm going to actually be quiet here for a second so you can hear it. It's up. Yeah, and Erica, your totality is about a couple of minutes away. We know. I know, folks, this is like a tailgate for people. People like even in our newsroom bringing snacks like the sun chips and the moon pies and uh, yeah. you know, the, everything, Eclipse gum. Um, I'm pretty sure that people are having right fun with there. it that way as well. That sun is going. Oh, that there sun it is. is almost gone. Wow, look at everybody cheering. Look how dark it went so quickly, too. And there it is. And the cool thing about this, too, is you experience the temperature drop. There's You've heard a, a number There's of people talk about. about how hot it is out it there, is but the temperature quite actually quite drops for a moment when this takes place. You can see the corona. Guys, this is amazing. Everyone, you can, if you look down, all you see are the phones lit up. If you look up, you can see that beautiful, fiery, feathery bit of atmosphere surrounding the sun called the corona. If you see little beads of light around the moon, those are called Bailey's beads. That's actually sunlight coming through the mountains and the valleys of the moon, the topography there. That's so crystal clear. Very rarely have people been able to see this particular site. And looking around, you can see, you know what? They were pointing at a planet. That wasn't a plane at all. It was a planet over there in our sky. Erica, what are they chanting? They are I'm having a little trouble hearing. They are certainly excited, no matter what they're cheering. They see planets. Wow, they look at that. Planets. Look Boy, at that. The lighting just changed from our viewpoint. Can you see it? Does it look different now? It's absolutely gorgeous, and it is like nighttime. I just, you know, I couldn't even believe it when they told me this is what it would look like, but it really does. It really does look like nighttime. Oh, that corona is just amazing. It's huge. Now, what they're studying is solar flares coming off the sun. Um, it's important because if scientists can predict it a little bit better, they can really protect our satellites and our astronauts up in space, the International Space Station, and they can study it more and they can really pinpoint when that's all going to happen. In just a few minutes, you're going to see those Bailey's beads again. That's again the sunlight coming through the little valley. Oh, I can start to see one little little hint of sun coming through one of the valleys of the moon. Yeah, Those are again called Bailey's beads. And this is just an amazing view, Erica. I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut you off, but I want to check in with our chief meteorologist, Brad Panovich.